When we think of iconic World War II fighters, the graceful supermarine Spitfire often steals the spotlight. But behind this legend stood a workhorse whose rugged reliability and battlefield resilience made it the backbone of Britain's aerial defense. The Hawker Hurricane was built with a traditional fabric-covered steel tube frame, similar to biplanes of the previous era. This construction was more forgiving of damage than the Spitfire with its all-metal monocoque stress skin design. Tears in the fabric skin from machine gun fire were often patched in hours using doped fabric. It is a much simpler and quicker process than the sheet metal work required for a Spitfire. Similarly, a damaged steel tube in the Hurricane's frame could be cut out and replaced with basic welding and splicing. This allowed small airfields to keep damaged Hurricanes flying despite having minimal resources. Unlike stress skin monoplanes where damage could ripple through the load-bearing fuselage, the Hurricane's internal steel tube skeleton absorbed punishment locally, meaning a single hit rarely compromised the entire airframe. The Hurricane's wings were a field repair-friendly design and built in multiple sections. This allowed RAF ground crews to repair only a damaged section instead of replacing the whole wing. This modularity made battlefield workshop efficiency a reality in forward airfields of Malta and North Africa, where a damaged hurricane wing panel could be swapped in in just a few hours. This also reduced the burden on spare parts because squadrons needed fewer full-wing spares. The simplified access also benefited armament as the detachable design meant armorers could more easily service the guns. New ground crews could rush through training because the Hurricane's wing sections were easier to understand and handle. The Hurricane's simpler design meant it could be repaired with more basic tools and less specialized knowledge. Bullet holes in the fabric skin of the Hurricanes could be patched in the field with nothing more than doped linen and glue. Sometimes this could be completed in under an hour, thus avoiding the need for metalwork. Unlike the Spitfire, which required specialist riveting tools for its aluminum skin, most hurricane repairs involved sewing, gluing, or bolting tasks. These were well within the skill set of any RAF ground crews. Many forward RAF workshops still had carpentry benches and basic welding kits for biplanes, which allowed mechanics to improvise wood, fabric, and steel tubing parts for the hurricanes. Due to its more conventional construction, the Hurricane used a greater number of standardized parts. This meant that components could be swapped between aircraft more easily, which helped to speed up the repair process. So, a wing removed from a damaged fighter could be installed on another almost immediately. This standardization extended to shared components across adjacent variants, including using many parts of the Hurricane Mark I for the Mark II. Many structural parts, such as spars, ribs, and undercarriage assemblies, remained standardized, which reduced production complexity. Battle-damaged hurricanes could often be returned to service within 24 hours thanks to these easily swappable parts, whereas Spitfires often took longer. The hurricane's engine cowling was designed for quick removal, giving excellent access to the Rolls-Royce engine for maintenance and repair. The Hurricane's engine cowling used quick-release fasteners, allowing crews to remove large sections of the covering in minutes rather than hours. Once panels were removed, almost the entire Rolls-Royce Merlin engine was exposed, including fuel lines, magnetos, carburetors, and coolant systems. Hurricanes could have had their Merlin engines replaced in the field in less than a day, which were harder to achieve on tightly cowled fighters. In the end, the Hawker Hurricane didn't win the war with dramatic flair or dazzling acrobatics. It won in the moments of grinding, unglamorous reality of quick patches, swift panel swaps, and immediate engine replacements. The sleek Spitfire may have been the star, but the Hurricane was the one that always showed up for the fight. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channels.